Okay, time for the next part of Let's Meet Some Baby Animals by Ella Bruce. Who did we meet last time? We met the weasel. We met the fox. And we met the otters. Let's see who's next. Ah, yes. What a lot of children. All these little harvest mice live in this funny ball which is made of dried grass and built round the stems of corn stalks. There is no door to their house at all. Then how do they get in and out? Why, they just squeeze through the walls or ceiling or the floor and the grass springs back into place behind them. Wouldn't it save a lot of bother if we could do the same? But harvest mice are so tiny and dainty, they are more like fairy folk. If you hold a ten penny piece in your hand, you can feel how much both mother and father would weigh if they are sitting here together. It will not be long before this lively family leaves home to explore the big world beyond the cornfield. These five baby rabbits, should we count them? One, two, three, four, and five. Five baby rabbits and one mother rabbit. These five baby rabbits live for the first two weeks of their lives deep in the ground in the hole you see on the right, which is called the burrow. Every time mother left them in the nice soft bed she had made out of dry grass and fur from her body, she sealed up the entrance. But now they are old enough to nibble the grass, she leaves the door open. And when she signals, they dash back into the safety of their home. Do you know how their mother lets them know that there's danger approaching? She stamps her back feet on the ground, and the sound carries a long way to her children and all their relations who live round about. Here's a nice scene. What, are, what different animals can you see? So we've got deer, snail, and that's a grass snake. Here we have some sort of freshwater fish. And who's that? That's right, that's Mr. Frog. And who's this? It looks similar to the frog. He's all bumpy on the back, which means he's a toad. There we have a lizard. And here we have another snake, which I believe is an adder. And who's that flying by? That's right, it's a dragonfly. And there are some distant birds in the sky. Let's see who's next. Ah, uh, yes. Someone has put down a saucer of water for these little hedgehogs, and how they love it. Do you see that naughty baby on the right trying to upset the water all over his sister's feet? I had a hedgehog who always gripped the edge of the saucer with his teeth and shook it. And when all the water lay in a pool on the floor, he sat in the middle and lapped it up. I wonder why he liked it better that way. Okay. So that's our three three more animals from Let's Meet Some Baby Animals. And I think there's a few left, which we can save for another video. Thanks.